happening now. Former President Trump's risk of criminal prosecution may be rising right now. Criminal case. Criminal charges. Criminal charges. Criminal charges. Criminal charges. Criminal charges. Criminal charges. Charges. Criminal charges. Just some of the media excitement around something that not only hasn't happened, nobody but those in the media have actually talked about. And that is criminal charges against President Trump out of the January 6th committee. Colby Hall is here, founding editor of Mediaite, the news, the nation's premier site for news about the news. Uh, Colby, at some point, does the cheerleading become a little too naked? I think it does. I mean, I'll be honest with you, not all of the enthusiasm is necessarily cheerleading. And, and you know this well from having worked in the newsroom. You know, people that, that are journalists or work in news are, are, are nerds, right? Like they, we get excited when news happens. And I think sometimes, um, you know, you, you see that enthusiasm, that excitement, it's not necessarily cheerleading. That said, there is also a lot of cheerleading. And, and this is a story that, you know, a lot of cable news outlets have been focused on for the last five years, just assuming that there will eventually be criminal <laughs> charges. You know, they want to see the former president in locked yeah. up. Never was going to happen. But, you know, the fact that some of these people cannot, you know, withhold well, they can't, they can't give up the ghost of is, Yeah, you can't give up the ghost of Russiagate, which you'd, you'd think at some point both the viewers and the host would, would learn that. But, hey, either way, you know, Al Michaels once said, I, I don't root for either team. I root for drama in the game. And there was so much drama on the hearing, this emergency hearing with Cassidy Hutchinson. Take a listen to some of the coverage there. Cassidy Hutchinson. 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 So few of the channels followed that up with dot, 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 three federal law enforcement officers say what she's saying, her most salacious things aren't true. Well, I mean, she, she was a star witness because she looked the part. She was telegenic. She was, uh, you know, sort of a young woman who had been very close to the center of the power structure in the Trump administration. So she wasn't like a leading lady that we haven't quite seen. You know, there is still debate about, you know, what she said. Clearly there were some uh, discrepancies between what she said that she had heard and what others are saying. I will say, however, that that was but one small part of, you know, two or three hours of testimony that was all pretty right, but, but fair, fair, was, fair, was a game fair, changer. Okay, Colby, but fair to say that if, if the flip side had happened, right, if, if a member of the Trump organization had testified publicly that this didn't happen and there were rumors of uh, an incident like this and there was a couple of sources who said, oh, President Trump did whatever, when this happened thousands of times during the Trump administration, everybody ran with, oh, the Trumps are lying. Well, I, if you're arguing that there's a different standard being held to, you know, the Trump administration by the media, I, I, I'm not going to argue with that because I wouldn't win that argument. But I would also say that the Trump administration also applied its own different standards, meaning fair, he fair flouted enough. the basic decorum yeah. and, and the media sort of took the bait. And, we, you know, we're all sort of in this mess yeah, now sort of, made... of, our, of, of everyone's making. There's yeah. blame to go around. Fair, all enough, fair, around. fair enough. It made, it made it so worse. This argument you might win. I'll be interested in your, your feelings on this. As you noted, President Trump sort of broke every norm in the book. It's one of the reasons the media hated him so much. And also loved him, by the way. They, they, right. They, well, they, loved, they loved him because they needed him. Um, in, right. in, in, a way, in a weird way. Uh, this is President Biden today in the same way attacking not the politics but the institutions. Take a listen. The one thing that has been destabilizing is the outrageous behavior of the Supreme Court of the United States on overruling not only Roe v. Wade but essentially challenging the right to privacy. And it is a mistake, in my view, for the Supreme Court to do what it did. Outrageous behavior of the Supreme Court. I can almost hear President Trump saying that at a rally. I mean, he does say that sort of stuff at the rally, at rallies all the time, so much that it doesn't really get that much of attention because it's fairly rote. You know, I, I, think, I, I think his point was well taken. I mean, the, the, this, this court has changed the face of how we yeah, but, consider but, but laws you in a way court. more dramatic way. That, you know, what Trump, what Trump did was a lot of rhetorical stuff. I, you know, I take issue with Biden saying that on foreign shores. I mean, it doesn't quite mm. apply, but but I, I I don't I don't think that he should have said that in that setting. But I don't. There was no lie detected. I think it has been pretty disruptive in a way 
this is, you know, elections have consequences. And when you, you know, Trump was able to put three justices but, on the uh, Supreme yeah, Court, well, and this is, this is what happens. Right. I, I guess the question would be is, is that when President Trump did it, people called it a threat to democracy. Now, well, but he would now, do that. He did that during uh, most recently around the, the, you know, the election and the threats of it being stolen. And he wanted the Supreme Court to see hear his case, mm. and then he blamed the Supreme Court because he didn't have standing, because he didn't, because none of his, you know, well, that's, that's a different that, yeah. sort of issue. Fair, fair, fair enough. And you, you rightly point out that the the Roe v. Wade decision, agree, disagree, uh, has changed has really changed America so much in that's a it, week. It it's sort of whiplash. We haven't really realized it yet. Colby, thank you. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Leo. Yeah, Thanks you too. For me. This is awesome. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.